Hey guys, Tom here with my 100 subscriber special video. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's absolutely fantastic. So I wanted to do something a little bit special to celebrate this. What I'm actually doing is I'm doing my first tour on the motorbike. Got the motorbike there, got my bag down there, top box with stuff, little tank bag with a few bits and bobs on it. Um, and what I'm actually doing is I'm doing some wild camping down in Dartmoor. Now, I'm a little bit worried about it because it has got extremely cold and also I've had to pull over because the sun is going down now and I'm heading west across the UK um, to uh, to get down there so the sun's right in my eyes so I've had to pull over for a minute um, so I thought I would do a quick intro video to what's what's gonna happen um, I don't really know to be honest um, I've done quite a bit of wild camping before never with a bike um, I've always done it with a hammock as well so I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the hammock I've brought a hammock with me anyway um, but I'm probably going to be bivy bag, uh, potentially going to be, um, you know, making a little tarp shelter or something to try and deal with the, the extreme cold that we've got going on. Now, Dartmoor, you can actually wild camp in all of Dartmoor in the UK. It is legal. Um, well, pretty much all of it. Um, there are a few spots where you can't. You've got to be a certain distance from the road. So I'm probably going to have to take the bike um, up off the road a bit. I could do one of those vans, like those people. My sister's just got one of those sort of things. That would be that would be more suitable for the job in hand. However, adventure and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm probably about an hour from Dartmoor now. I, I did want to get there with daylight, but I think it's going to be dark when I arrive now. So um, I'm then going to have to try and find somewhere and pitch up. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the um, I haven't filmed the whole journey down because it would have been too long so I'll put the head cam on um, probably when I'm getting a bit closer and hunting for somewhere to um, to stay the night in this freezing weather because it is going to get to apparently minus one minus two tonight wish me luck okay so nearing um nearing destination I feel oh, it's absolutely freezing oh, it is later than I wanted it to be it is cold a little bit scary but it'll be fine I'm sure This might be my spot for the night. This could be absolutely terrible. Hey guys, Tom here. Made it to Dartmoor, survived my night. It was very cold. I think it got down to about minus two. Um, I'm just gonna flip the camera and show you a view. Oh, I can't do that. In the background here. Look at the view. I mean, look 
go there. Absolutely amazing. My my bike is uh, around there with my hammock. Interestingly, this white van. So I turn up quite late, as you saw, um, and I'm making a fair bit of noise. And um, I I don't have my headlight on at the time. I'm just kind of getting myself set up. I was quite cold, quite tired. Um, just trying to get things sorted and um, I hear this person get out of the white van and uh, they start chopping wood behind the van and I'm like okay then I'm here it's all, it's all cool you know and I'm just getting on with things and all of a sudden I hear this woman shout out I know you're there I can hear you I've got an axe and I'm like what I don't want to scare somebody and also don't want someone coming at me with an axe so I'm like Hello, it's okay, I'm friendly. And she's like, yeah, they all say that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll stay over here. My name's Tom. <laughs> and then I carry on doing my stuff. And then we start talking a bit more, sort of, at distance. She was very nervous about me being there. And I was saying, look, do you want me to, do you want me to come over? I'll shine a torch on my face so you can see me as I come over. So you realise I'm not a crazy person. Which, originally, I went over looking like this with this hat on. And then I thought, I'll probably look a little bit crazy with the hat on. So I then took the hat off. I look like even more of a worry with this face. So, um, but luckily she she was all right. She um, uh, knew I wasn't. Well, I think she felt okay. I've got my distance, and it'll be all right. And I've said hello to her this morning. She actually offered me a cup of tea, uh, but I've already had coffee. And I don't know. She might be. I don't know. She, I, I, don't, I, I don't trust people that much out there. But look at that view. Look at it. Absolutely lovely. Right, I'm going to have a little wander back and I'll show you my camp for the night. Woke up with a lot of frost on me, um, but I'll, uh, I'll show you what it's like. So, this was me for the night in my um, DD Frontline hammock, which I love, strung up there. I didn't bother with a, a tarp over the top, which I usually do in case it rains, because it was such a clear night sky and I was really enjoying looking at the stars. I actually saw uh, three shooting stars in total, which I was quite pleased about. So I've got the under blanket on there as well. If you've not done any hammock camping before, the way you get, where you get cold, no matter what sleeping bag you've got, when you're inside the hammock, you, you will compress it down so it'll be completely squished at the bottom. As well, you get a bit of cold back. So by putting an under blanket on, what it does is it creates this little pocket where you can have a nice bit of warm air there, um, which was good. Little van turning up. I've had a few dog walkers turning up today. They've all been telling me that I'm a little bit nuts. Um, so kept my stuff down here. Um, cooked up some nice um, noodles on this. Oh, I put the pot here. Let me grab the pot. So I put it out of the way. What did I have? And I can give you a review of that. So I had, I had these. The big one, egg noodles, Singapore curry, which said it was a mild, I think. Oh, there you go, there's the mild thing. But it wasn't, it was actually quite hot. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I'll take that with me. And then what I did was I had this tarp here pulled over covering my stuff. Because I'm so close to this road area, I was worried about cars coming in in the night. None did. These guys have just been turning up dog walking in the morning. Um, and so I just heard something done over there so um, so yeah but usually I I have my stuff when I get in the hammock I usually have my head that end so stuff's on stuff's on my right hand side I get in and out on the right however last night I decided to change the way I laid things out and had it so that I put my head this way which I then woke up in the middle of the night, always expecting my stuff to be on the right hand side over there and the left hand side is always a bit of my pee side. So I woke up in the night and had a pee out the side here, because you don't want to get it out of your hammock, especially when it's cold. Luckily, I had a top, so I just had to give it a quick wipe off in the morning, so that um, that saved me there. But um, really good night. Uh, <coughs> very cold, like I say, uh, but managed to keep warm quite nicely, wrapped up. So, uh, oh, let's flip this around. So, plan today um, is uh, I'm just gonna 
have another cup of coffee, I think, and then I'm going to uh, jump on the bike and head over to uh, Burwater Reservoir, I think it's called. It's about a 50 minute drive, um, but I think that would be some, a nice spot to go and I'll do some filming on the way. So what I've done is I've pulled over, I make myself a little cuppa um, and have um, have some lunch. What I'm thinking for my lunch today is um, bachelor's superb noodles, um, along with a little bit of bread. Why not? That should do it. Um, I'll have a coffee as well, um, and perfect. Journey to the next camping spot. worried I was being a bit of a wimp going with a hammock again um, as I'm sure you've gathered I'm pretty comfortable with hammock camping uh, done it quite a lot before first time with the bike obviously uh, but I'm kind of pretty good with hammocks so I've started to be brave I'm literally in a field in the middle of nowhere um, quite exposed no way I'm gonna be able to put a hammock up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my bivvy bag um, and if needs be I will um, create a little tarp shelter from the bike I think I can probably do a, a guideline from the bike and then put a tarp over that um, so should be exciting um, it's clear sky that's why I'm thinking about this as well 
because you can see so many stars out here it is unbelievable um i mean i live sort of well i've lived in london for years and then i'm living down in kent now where you can see more in kent than you can in london but you can't really see uh, an, an awful lot um so it's quite nice to be able to see them really um so yeah i'll set up i might be able to have a fire here there's a little spot uh, over there by the bushes so we may be able to have a little fire if needs be um but yeah should be a good night i'm a little bit nervous um i want to say as well thank you guys for subscribing i think i said at the start you know i wouldn't be doing this if i didn't have 100 subscribers i put this off two days in a row i was going to go on saturday then i was going to go on sunday and i kept putting it off because i was worried about the weather um and i was worried about things going wrong because i'm with my bike first time doing all this uh, these sorts of things but then i thought no do it do it because it make a good video and it's a good reason to do it with the 100 subscribers so at the moment i'm really happy that i took on this challenge um that may change i hope it won't i don't think it will i think i'm i think i'm okay um but we'll have to wait and see so so yeah thank you for subscribing thank you for the people that have commented um liked even just watching the video it really helps me out a lot uh, and makes it worthwhile doing it so i'm going to set up here um chill out for a bit put another brew on um, and catch back with you soon okay so i'm going to need to do a little bit of tidying up of my bits there that i've been sorting out but this is what i'm going with so i've got a bivy bag here um, with an inflatable mattress inside the bivy bag as well my sleeping bag and then i've got my emergency shelter here if it does end up chucking it down uh, i've got a guide wire going from uh, the suspension on the bike or the forks on the bike up to this tree it, it really doesn't look good at all but it will do the job the um, paracord I've got here is proper flexy so it's uh, quite down um, but it'll do it's pegged in if weather goes bad I've got that to get into um, I need to tidy up my stuff don't know if I'm going to lock some stuff in the bike this time or leave it in that shelter I'll probably leave it in the shelter just above where my head is so that you know I've got I've got it nearby um, and I can probably because of the slack there if it does get bad I can literally just pull myself straight up uh, into here it doesn't matter if my feet stay out or anything um, because it'll be nice and dry underneath there um, unless we get a load of rain runoff from somewhere oh I think I'll be okay I think I'll be okay. My shadow. Um, so yeah, that's it. There's a load of a load of animal muck everywhere, and I can hear cows making a load of noise. So I may have some animals come and join me, which I don't really want. But yeah, there's absolutely massive piles of crap. I mean, look at that big one over there. It's huge. But I mean, look at that view. I mean, it is just absolutely stunning. Sun's just going down. Sunset won't come through on here, uh, particularly well, I don't think. I might try and get some pictures in a bit, though. Um, but yeah, so, so this is it. This is me for the night. Um, I've got some more noodles that I might be eating. Um, I don't know what else I've got. I've got a few protein bars and things. Some cup of soups. I think I'm just going to have that tonight. Cup of soups, more noodles, protein bars. Um, that should be absolutely fine. Um, I may touch base later, later, or it may be in the morning. So, uh, if it's in the morning, uh, good night from me. Okay, so, starting to get a little bit worried. The temperature has got really quite cold here. And if you look, I've got like frost already all over my bivy bag. I've pulled all my stuff over here. I was going to, um, um, I was going to put all that in the bags and have it all organised, and then just chuck it underneath there. However, because it's got cold so quick, I'm just going to jump in the jump in the bivy bag. Uh, that sleeping bag should warm up quite quick so I'm worried I might be getting colder than I realise and I'm going to eat that box of nuts as well 
because that should um, give my body something to digest a bit more uh, which will generate a bit more heat um, it's very cold there's the bike oh there's my cup over there need to get that oh. yeah see look at the frost on this already I think it's because it's more exposed up here um, I mean it's not it's not windy but it's you know just that gentle breeze coming across um, oh focus has gone don't know if that's, there we go yeah the gentle breeze coming across I've had a couple of hot drinks I'm not I'm not feeling too bad but they say that Oh, they say that um, you know it's when you're not feeling bad in the cold and all of a sudden you start feeling alright that things go a little bit wrong so oh, I'm going to jump in here in this ice thing I mean look at this look at this here oh. I mean, look at that. That's on the sleeping bag. That'd be inside there as well. I've got something to wrap around my head. That's my pillow in there. Inflatable mattress there. Oh, I've got to take my boots off. Jump in. Fully clothed. And hopefully that'll sort me out. I may, get, I may make another video later when I'm alright. <laughs> Alright, catch you later. Oh, and I've also got fire logs nearby in there. If things get really bad, I am going to start a fire. Catch you later. Bye. Okay, so this was probably a dumb idea doing this. That that you see in there is not actually um, uh, precipitating or anything. It's just the glistening on it. So, yeah, it's got a bit worse. I don't know if you can see my breath coming through there. I love everything's got this kind of film on it. I stayed in there for a little while, um, but then, and I was feeling okay, but then my inflatable mattress all of a sudden deflated. I think it's just the toggle bit at that end. You see that bit there? I think that's just come undone. So, what I'm going to do is, I've built a little... Oh, this is very convenient with that. Oh, sorry, I dropped that. So, I've built a, um, a little hole for a fire. So I'm going to put that fire log in it. Now, these fire logs have got some stuff to make them burn quicker. And all you've got to do is light it up, light up the paper, and it goes. Now, I've dug it down so that it's not as visible. Um, I hope it gets enough oxygen. I was thinking about digging another tunnel in. Um, because... Uh, where's my lighter? I'm going to put this down while I light it. So the paper has like a wax in it, which... Um, and then lights up the log underneath. I'm going to turn this light off. There we go. Fire log, and this is going to burn for about 90 minutes, I think. So that could sort me out because it is cold. <laughs> this was a dumb idea coming up onto this exposed area like this. I should have just gone with hammocks like I've always known. Hey ho, you live and learn. Okay, so uh, fire's going. I've also got the kettle boiling as well. Have I got... Oh, I thought there was ice in my hat then. I'd actually realised that the um, my water had frozen, or started to freeze. Um, so, it's apparently only supposed to be like two degrees tonight, or, th or two or three. It was supposed to be zero, so I'm not sure why that is. The fire log's going. That's warming me up. I'm going to get a, um, a few warm drinks in me, and then kind of sort my sort my sleep system out um, I need to reinflate the mattress um, and 
get everything inside that shelter, maybe work on the shelter a little bit as well. Um, it's only about, it's about eight, might be nine, I'm not sure the time, so it is a bit early. Um, <coughs> I'm looking at myself a little bit just to sort of see how pale I am. I think I look more pale because of this light. Let's put the, it's much nicer, isn't it? Firelight. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, should all be um, should all be fine in a bit, but it's a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so I think I've solved the problem. So there's my bike there. So previously the shelter was running off that line. Oh god, the light's really bad. Off that line going there, but I've realised the wind is coming from this way. So what I've done is, I've got a line coming off the highest point in the bike. Well, it's actually just a bungee to the actual thing, to the top, and then it's pegged down there. And then I've pegged out the sides in the diamond space. So then the wind coming in should just be on, uh, on that side of the top. And then what I've done is, oh, I went for a, uh, I would put my sleeping bag in. I mean, look at it, it's ridiculous. You know, I've, I've inflated my mattress again. I don't know if it's got a puncture in it or not though, because the valve hadn't opened, so I'm not entirely sure. So, oh, I'll take this off my head, it'll be easier. So, um, I'm open that way, but where the air's coming from, you know, I'm actually closed off. And I've got a, um, a, a branch there to, um, to hold it up in the middle to give it a little bit more elevation and put my socks from yesterday on it so I didn't rip a hole in my top. Tried to dig a little hole, didn't really work, <laughs> but but it's up anyway and I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, so here I am, I'm gonna be in here. This is all icy up on the top there, so um, I don't really wanna get in there just yet. I've still got the lovely fire going, so I'm gonna oh, enjoy that. I need to take down that other guy wire so I don't trip on it. So, um, so there we are. A shelter more fit for purpose. And let's hope it doesn't pull the bike over. That other top, that was on my bike. I don't know. I put it there because cars were going past and stuff. So I wanted to give it a little bit of camouflage. It's not even tied onto it. But it's, it's not doing anything. It's just, it's just there. But obviously the weight is pulling this way. The bike's on its stand on the left hand side, so the weight of the bike's going that way. So um, as long as nothing jumps on here in the night, should be okay, should be okay. And then obviously got my fire there, which is what is keeping me warm. So I'm gonna go and sit by the fire a bit more, probably have another cuppa, and then gradually put on my kit in the new shelter. Hopefully to see you in the morning now. <laughs> Cheers. Okay guys, all um, all tucked up for the night. Um, I'm feeling all right. I've um, had the fire going for about 90 minutes. Um, oh, had the fire going for about 90 minutes. Um, I also had um, a nice hot chocolate and I had a something else, a mocha or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but um, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling quite warm. I know my breath is, I don't know if you're picking that up, um, but yeah, my shelter I think will be okay, and it's going to cover me for the rain as well, um, if it does rain, which I don't think it will, but obviously if it starts to rain in the middle of the night at this temperature, it's going to be, well it's going to be snowing, um, so hopefully it'll be good, I think it will, and um, catch you in the morning. I survived. <laughs> um, the sun is now coming up. It's about, <clears throat> I think it's about six, something like that. Very cold night. Oh, frost on my head. So, um, so yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right, but it was a bad idea coming here. Let me show you the shelter so you can get a better look at it. 
Okay, so this is um, this is my shelter. I mean, look how much ice is on the bike. I mean, it's just all frozen up. But that'll clear as soon as. Oh yeah, I thought I'd graffiti a little bit on the ice. So, oh, I'll have to edit my number plate out of that. Um, so yeah, it it worked, which is the good thing. Um, I was quite concerned about rain at one point because uh, I kept looking at forecasts, and I think that's why people say Dartmoor is so much of a risk because the weather changes so quickly. Um, I mean, at one point it was 40% um, chance of, you know, light rain at 4am. And then it turned to, in the space of about half hour, it turned to an 80% chance of heavy rain at 2am. So, oh, that's where I survived it. I've got quite a few aches and pains. Uh, I actually used, I don't know if you can see this, this here. That's actually the under blanket from my hammock. Um, this bivy bag is really quite tight for me to get into. So I, um, uh, I ended up having my arms outside with the um, under blanket over my arms to try and keep them warm. Um, so that sort of worked. The shelter did get knocked down at one point. I knocked that branch down when I was moving stuff around. But, um, but yeah, apart from that, oh, it did its job. Um, and we've now got the sun coming up over there, um, which is, uh, I've got to warm this air up a little bit. Oh, there's some sheep over there. Um, there's a few sheep dotted around, actually. But... Oh, let me flip the camera back. So uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to have a cuppa. Um, I'm, I'm not going to stay another day. I think it's time to go home. Um, also, I think this scenery is so beautiful. I want to come back here again at some point when I've managed to get a drone um, to get some better footage and actually show you what it's all about because I know a lot of my viewers are over in the States. So... Um, so yeah, um, I'll clear up here, and then um, when um, uh, I'll put my GoPro on, uh, do a bit of riding around on the roads, I'm going to stop for breakfast, probably won't film that, um, and, and yeah, I'll probably do a little round out when I get back home. Thanks. Let's do this, rain clouds coming in, and we're off. Hello. Hello. the difference to the cow and the bull. Um, yeah, you go that way. I'll come this way. You, I'll come this way. Look. Oh, you don't need to run away. I could have got past you. Okay, you're going up there. Cool. Found somewhere to go here. See ya. Bye. Oh, hello. He's got horns, look. Is he a bull? Oh, 
It's all right. Oh, nice jump. <laughs> Morning. Hello. Oh, aren't you beautiful? Okay, pardon? Thank lovely horse you've got. <laughs> Okay, they're far enough away. And in comes the rain. And I'm back home. The girlfriend had put a ruby in the slow cooker. So that was very nice to come home to. I've had a lovely warm bath, so I'm feeling nice and fresh too. Nice full belly, feeling clean. All is good um, after a tiring couple of days uh, down in Dartmoor. Uh, thank you to those that have watched the video all the way through. I, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm anticipating it will be a bit of a long one. Um, special thanks to those first 100 subscribers. Really, really do appreciate it. I wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for you guys hitting that sub button. Um, those of you that aren't subscribed, feel free to hit the comment, um, make a comment, hit the like button, uh, maybe even subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff in the future. Uh, thanks again, guys. I hope you're well and catch you soon. Cheers.